Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I finally have a video on my top five high-end concealers. I did post a video last week on my top five drugstore concealers and you guys seem to really like that. And some of you did want to see the high-end version, so here it is. I'm actually gonna do this in order. Like, I'm gonna do this in order of like what I prefer. Um, I don't usually do this, but I feel like in this particular one, like with these concealers, I have a high preference to like my lowest one. The first concealer that I really, really really love and this is like my ride or die concealer like this is my concealer that I would rec recommend to anyone to everyone it's just one that you really need to have and it's the Tarte Shape Dip Concealer it's so good like I definitely want to try like a contour version um but this concealer is just so good it's so so good this is what the concealer looks like and I'm in the shade tan sand I'm just gonna swatch it for you I'm actually really running out of it so I need to get another one ASAP. This concealer is available on QVC UK. If you are from the UK and you don't want to pay customs, you can check if you have your colour on there because they don't have all the colours and you have to get it with a sponge. So if you really want to try it out, you can get it from there. I'm actually going to get it myself on the Tarte website because I feel like that's just it's more convenient and I might get some other bits as well. And sometimes they do like free shipping and stuff. So yeah, I'm probably going to wait till that. And um, this is what the swatch looks like it's like my perfect concealer color like the enough brightness that i need like literally when you go on youtube you see everyone using this like all beauty bloggers everyone are raving about it because it's so good it doesn't crease it's super full coverage it actually sets really really nicely um you don't even need that much powder with it and you don't need that much product but sometimes i do put quite a lot because i just that's just the way I put my makeup on. Um, but to be honest, like you can go like dot, 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 and then you're ready to go and like blend it. Really good concealer, and you definitely need to have it. My next favourite one is like a really good one as well. And it's the Naked Skin Concealer, and I am the shade Medium Dark Warm. Um, it's just that shade right there. So they're, they are quite similar. Um, it does say it has complete coverage, it's light diffusing, and it's paraben free. It does have a slight scent to it, but I'm not bothered by it. Um, even like my Tarte Shape Tape one has like this fresh scent to it, but again, I'm not bothered by it. So these ones are like my two favourite ones. It doesn't crease, it's brightening. It's kind of the same colour, so yeah, I really like how it brightens and it just lasts all day, guys. Like, it's so good. There's not really much I can say apart of, from about these concealers, apart from the fact that they're really good. Now the next one up is my, which I recently discovered, is the um, new Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer. Even though I have discovered this recently, it's still really good. Like I actually have two now. I purchased the Warm Honey, which is like my skin tone, and then I purchased Honey, which is like lighter. So I'm just going to swatch it for you guys. So that's Warm Honey and that's Honey. Can you see how like these two are kind of in between these two? So that's why I purchased both to mix them. It's actually really nice. Like it bright, like when I mixed it with the light, the honey, like it really brightens and like it, it actually really softens my under eye because I've got a lot of bumps here as well. Like because I don't know, maybe it's because of my eye cream, but I've got like textured skin and I just feel like it really like smooths it out because it is really hydrating um you definitely need to bake with the concealer like you need to bake I feel like when I just dust powder over it it doesn't work as well so when I like really like bake it does stay put and um, there is a bit of creasing like it does crease a bit more than the Tarte Shape Tape and the Urban Decay one but I don't know I just really like the effect and like how it highlights and how it conceals so it's super full coverage um, I do have a review on this so you can go, you can check it out and it does actually cover my tattoo a bit so it's quite good. The next one is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is what the concealer looks like. I'm in the shade Tan. This concealer again is a nice, really nice one. If you're looking for a nice hydrating concealer, it's really good. It's not as full coverage as the other ones but it does give co good, good coverage. It's like not excellent coverage, it's like good coverage <laughs> if you know what I mean. That is what the colour looks like, so it's not as bright. So that's why it's my, kind of going towards like the fourth place because it's not as bright as these ones. I did want to get like a brighter one, but it was a bit too pinky for me, I think, and like I had to go for this one. Um, the price is really not good, like it was £20. It doesn't crease that much, and it's just another good high-end concealer that I definitely recommend to you guys. And finally, the last one is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This one's really good. The only the only thing is like I don't really like the fact that it comes in a pump. I find that myself using way more product than I actually need. 
and like a lot of it goes to waste. The colour is the brightest out of all of them but it is like a really nice full coverage concealer um, and I actually use this a lot for my cut crease because it just carves it really nice. Um, it, it does crease a bit more than the others so that's why I don't use it as much but with like coverage and longevity like the way it brightens and um, the way it like cuts my cut crease I really like it for that so that's why it's in fifth place my least favorite but it's still a really good concealer anyways guys that's the end of this video I really hope you enjoyed this one um, I will continue to do my top five products with like other products like eyeshadow palettes and maybe like foundations hopefully um but i will do more um give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you're new i love you guys and i'll see you next time